Hey there guys, this is Obsidian Chill. Got another video for it today. And the previously announced uh, Crypto Ally has now hit test server. I'm sure you're going to be seeing plenty of videos about that from uh, various channels, but uh, they won't be like this one. Uh, so the nice thing to change of pace is that for the first time since Allies have been released, we have Crypto being a rare ally, which means that it only costs 8,500 Ally favor to level up and I believe seven rare catalysts. So it's a nice change of pace from all the previous legendaries that we've had, which are pretty much like $100 to level up each time. So before I get into the actual breakdown of all the abilities in the passive, uh, let's touch on what it looks like and in terms of its damage ability. Okay, so with Crypto, we have the combat ability Heat Vision, fires I beam at single target for four seconds, dealing a damage and burning the target. Uh, what it doesn't say as well is there's bonus boss damage, similar to uh, Harley. So we'll touch on that when it comes up, but uh, as you can see, there's Crypto, our good boy. Uh, in terms of his bio, Arf Arf, <laughs> originally sent to Earth and Test Rocket. Uh, in terms of his passive ability, Go Fetch increases average yield from gathering exo materials. So, taking a look at uh, what he looks like with his animation spawn. And then it's up, up, and away. So, now you've seen Crypto, kind of let's now touch on the uh, details here. Okay, so taking a look at the uh, damage rank comparison first. Obviously with it being a rare, we have five star levels. So we gain, range from about 80k up to 407k. Now I will say, if you're testing this yourself, uh, there is a chance to get five hits instead of four. The overwhelming majority of my tests were four hits, so I don't think four hits is intended, but there is opportunities where it does hit for five hits for whatever reason. I mean, I posted its feedback, but I would ignore those numbers right now if you get a fifth tick, because uh, I don't believe that's going to be intended. If it is, then obviously I'll change my numbers around, but uh, obviously since the damage is all pretty much, uh, since it's only four or five hits hits you're getting, uh, rank five, it does make a difference there. If you get an extra tick, I mean, it's another 100k damage. Since Heat Vision is single target, the AoE and single target numbers are pretty much going to be exactly the same. Very little difference, just the damage uh, range. In terms of the bonus boss damage, uh, it's similar to Harley where you get uh, just a bonus tick of damage. So basically it's like an extra 23 to 25k damage on each tick of Heat Vision. So it's still going to be well below like Flashpoint Batman and House of Legends bot because there's, their bonus boss damage is different where it basically just... Uh, duplicates the attacks again, so double damage, uh, where this one is just bonus boss damage. So how does that look for the rankings? In terms, everything's tested at CR378, so Crypto falls uh, 408k on AoE. I mean, nothing to write home about, but I mean, at the same time, it is a rare ally. In terms of single target on sparring target, falls into 418, same thing. Still kind of mid-range of the pack. And then the bonus boss damage puts it at 574, so it does put it above like Batman Laughs. Uh, technically, Harley Quinn on one boss, because this is just tests on Doomsday, where if you had multiple bosses, then Harley would uh, succeed there. It's going to be above Cyborg, technically, on single target, but still obviously like half the damage of Flashpoint and, and House of Legends, just because of how their boss damage works. So, touching at the ally passive, go Fitch. So I did a baseline. I know this is a smaller sample size. It's only 10 exabyte nodes that I collected. Um, so it, the percentages are going to be slightly off, but I mean, still same. you get the same idea with 10 nodes. If I did like 20 or 30, it's just going to be more of a sample size. So I collected 10, got a total of 24 exomatters. Now at rank three, I got a total of 35. At rank four, I got a total of 57. And then rank five, I got a total of 80. So you can see there, like the normal nodes, I'm getting about two each. Sometimes if it's like a bonus drop, I get four or three, but mainly it's two. Then with rank three, it's double to four average, pretty much. Sometimes you get threes. Rank four is pretty much always going to be six. Sometimes drops to five. And then rank five is pretty much always at eight. And then here, just like you can look at the percentages, uh, rank three increase over baseline was 37%. So it's supposed to be 20. It's the same thing. I mean, with a greater sample size, it's going to average out. So that's kind of in line with what they think. Uh, rank 4 is 60%, I got 81%, and then rank 5 was 100%, and I got 107 So it's all fairly close. 
but as you can see there's the differences so it's it's really it's going to help you for those 25k gather feats that's about it i mean especially if you or if you're kind of low on axa matter and just want to slap this on for your farming routes i mean same thing it's i mean it, it doesn't uh you're not going to need any other ally for your farming routes you might as well swap this on it's very cheap 8500 and then basically you get all this extra exobite matter that uh, you can sell on either the marketplace or sorry not the marketplace but the, on the broker uh give it to your league mates whatever so it uh, basically just is a free increase especially at 100 percent i mean that that's nothing to uh, shake your head at and uh, also help me because i don't even have my 25 gay their feet left I, I think i've think about sitting at like 21 or something like that for I don't know, like a better part of a decade. What is that like? That fee came out what like eight years ago or something? Seven eight years ago. I just I can't be bothered to do it. So there's his passives. We saw the damage grain comparison and the damage ranking. So there's crypto in terms of when the release date is. That hasn't been announced yet. Uh, if it follows a typical test server, uh, maybe two weeks. So it possibly crypto could be released when the second half, more than likely, because it's a Superman theme, uh, when we have the second release of Save the Universe, which is after July 27th, uh, where Dark Side uh, War Factor comes out, Smallville, and um, I forget the solo offhand, the uh, Kryptonite Tower one where you fight uh, Lobo. So more than likely that's when crypto is going to come out, but uh, it could be subject to change. So any other questions or concerns? Put in the comment section below. Take care, guys. We'll see you in the next video.